Hello and welcome to this edition of Diecast Emporium. Today we're talking backhoes, specifically the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 450E backhoe loader. This is a Highline series model and the item number is 85263. As you can see, as it is a first generation Highline series model, it does come in the collectible series tin. Here you can see a picture of the original release of this model. Here is a picture of the real 450E up on top of the tin and the background of a gorgeous clear blue sky. And on the back here, you can see the actual backhoe part of the backhoe in operation. And if you would like to, please pause the video and you can read the specification details now. If you've never owned a Highline series model in 187 scale by Diecast Masters, inside of course is the model and the catalog of the entire lineup of Diecast Masters Caterpillar products. Here is the model that we will be taking a look at today. So, as you can already tell, this is a very nice looking backhoe loader in 1 to 87 scale. And backhoes are one of the most versatile pieces of construction equipment on any construction site. And that's mainly due in part because they can do the work of two different construction piece, pieces of construction equipment in one machine. They can operate as a front loader and they can operate as a excavator with the help of the backhoe. So let's take a look at the functionality first. The loader arms go up to that height and they will dump to about here, which is going to be enough to get any material out if you have some ballast or sand that you're modeling, so that's pretty good. And this bucket has the flip-down forks modeled, but they are in fact just that. They are modeled. These don't flip down. However, if you are a skilled modeler, you could probably cut these out and make them flip down if you would like to do that. But just note that stock, it's just a look. They actually are not functional. Coming towards the rear of the machine, to use the backhoe, of course, you would have to engage the outriggers, put the stabilizers down. They just touch the ground, but they don't lift the machine off of the ground, but they do sit flush. Your backhoe can swing left to right at a very good angle. The hydraulic rams are stiff enough to hold any angle that you want to set, which is very good because, as you'll see in a minute, the model that this derived from, that could not be achieved. The bucket also curls out and curls in, but the most impressive aspect about this is if you had this machine digging a trench on your layout, you could absolutely accomplish that. Check out that dig depth. That is extremely impressive in this scale. So the back hoe functionality works great. Here's my only issue with it, and again, it's important to point out this because we're trying to make a good product even better. As this is a first generation Highline series model, that means that our friendly neighborhood operator Bob is permanently affixed inside the operator's compartment of these models, so you can't remove him without uh, doing it yourself and ruining the value of your model. But if you're using the backhoe functionality of it, it doesn't particularly look that good when your operator is still facing in the forward direction. So an idea I had if this was ever to go into the um, Core Classic series or if this model was updated, maybe have like a little turn knob here where you could turn the operator to the rear if he's using the backhoe or just leave him facing forward. Or, of course, this would be easily solved if you could just completely remove the operator. Just a couple suggestions that I had there. And, as we always like to see with machines like this, just the addition of some hydraulic lines and maybe some auxiliary lines for a thumb or attachment things like that. Always just some helpful insight. Um, for some of the smaller details, the cat graphics look excellent. You have some lights up here that are painted. Your exhaust is plastic, but it's small into scale, which looks good. You have your smooth bucket here. Your outriggers look particularly good, although they probably should come up a little bit farther. But again, in 187 scale, they're kind of stopped by these cylinders where they're mounted here. So that's why they don't come up any farther. But I would still rather have some outriggers than not have any outriggers at all. 
So again, good to see that. I already showed you the functionality of the bucket. The tires roll very, very freely, but there's no steering modeled at all. So that's the 450E, the Diecast Masters version. This is what it derived from. This is the original that came out a number of years ago. It's the Norscott version. And I told you that the Diecast Masters was a huge improvement in basically one main area, and that's the functionality of the backhoe, which is kind of important when you're buying, well, a backhoe model. Yeah. Again, if you watch the video on the 320 review that I posted, same problem. For whatever reason, a lot of these Norscott models had cylinder issues where they wouldn't hold the pose. And it is so good, and I was so happy to see that Diecast Masters addressed that with these updated and much improved versions. We'll close out the video with how this backhoe would look on a low boy. Now, of course, if you had a larger tag trailer behind a dump truck you know you could fit this size machine on that but as for how it looks on a low boy there you go again a very nice looking machine indeed so there you go collectors that is a conclusive review of the diecast masters highline series caterpillar 450e backhoe loader in 1 to 87 scale i'm tommy from diecast emporium thank you very much for watching if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down below until next time take care be safe we'll see you in the next video